Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just carrying out servicing on a Hovel Ultra Gas 450. So let's get into let's get into high and low fire. Well, first of all, we're going to start with high fire. Click the settings button at the bottom right, and then we go to emissions, and then we put in our value time, emissions test remaining time run. Let's say. 60 minutes okay I'm gonna turn off my other boilers turning my boiler that I'm working on onto hand and my remaining boilers off 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 this is a front front view of my boiler number one it's currently on in low fire and now my other boiler is ramping up just check getting my fluid readings from the back just having a look at my manual Okay, so we've got our high reading should be 8.5 to 8.8 .8 on CO2. 8.5 to 8.8. And 5.9 to 5.5 on O2. It looks exactly the same for our low fire and our high fire. There's no difference. Okay, so I've written that on the back of the boiler to remind me. Currently we're in high fire. And we have 8.8. .8. Our O2, our O2 is good. So here's our air inlet. I've removed the cap from the top and I've removed the cap from here. This is for low fire adjustment. High fire adjustment. So that's high fire, low fire. Let's get our unit into low fire. Okay, so we should soon start to hear our fan ramping down in speed. Our fan should start slowing down. And then we'll have our readings that we need to adjust on here. But this is what we need between 8.5 and 8.8 .8 CO2 in high and in low. Same with O2. We need between 5.9 and 5.5. Okay, so I'm just letting this unit stabilize. Okay, so I'll get the dust caps back on that unit and I'm happy with it. Remember, if you make any adjustments in high, check low afterwards. If you adjust low, check your high afterwards. This is the other unit. We've got our spark generator here, our sight glass here, our air pressure switches there, our incoming gas supply, our gas valve. Okay, this is our boiler from another angle. So we have our, our gas meter and then that looks like a gas filter there okay i hope that's helped i'm not sure how often you work on these hovel ultra gas boilers please leave comments in the section below until next time bye bye bye